In this video, I will show you some more advanced approaches to navigate around your data entry form using the Voice Data Recording System. I'll be demonstrating how to navigate to the Mesh drop-down list and also to the Tag subform. For some of our fish we collect, we will um, see tags on the fish, so I want to be able to navigate to this tag subform, enter the type of tag and the tag serial number, and go back and continue entering data. And as I mentioned earlier, we do gill net surveys and we sort our catches by the mesh size. So when we process fish, we sort them by meshes and we go to the next box of fish, we'll want to switch mesh sizes. You can do this by voice or you can just have your data monitors select that and change the mesh and put you back here. And I'll show you how to do this by voice. Wake up, mesh, 4.0, go back, stop. So what I have programmed in my data entry form, and this is done in the Dragon portion of it, is I created a command called mesh that navigates to this point on the screen and executes a click, and then it awaits for you to speech in the mesh sides that you're switching to. So you saw I have a voice in 4.0. Then I created a, another command that is named go back that returns you back to here. And I'll show you the code behind that. And basically, once you figure this out for one thing, uh, such as the mesh drop down list, you can do this for other things. So let's go to the mesh right here. So we're using advanced scripting. It's just two lines of code in the subroutine. So set mouse position is a function in Dragon. And these are actual pixel locations. So once you set your form on the machine that you're going to actually use in the field, you can figure out the positions um, of where things are at and, and enter these here. And you could do this through trial and error by speeching in the command and see where the cursor lands. Eventually, you'll land on that drop down list. And then there's a command called herd word. And basically, it's just uh, executing the mouse to left click on that cell. And then I'll show you the command for go back. And each of these functions, you can look up in the help to look at all the parameters and criteria required to execute the command. So again, we'll uh, click on that. So for go back, what it's doing is setting the mouse position and, and basically executing these series of uh, functions in your environment and taking you back to that cell. So you saw how it worked for this. And then for fish tags, I did the same thing where I had a subform created for from our tag uh, sub table. And I'll demonstrate that next. Wake up, tag, green tag, 9901, go back, stop. So you can see I programmed the command tag, which navigates to a different position on the screen, and it clicks the cursor into the tag field name. And I just created a command called green tag, which enters RMMHM in Dragon. So it types that in. That's a complex name, but I have a certain type of code system for the type of tags, whether it's a capture uh, event or a recapture event, or whether it's released or it's a mortality and things like that. And then there's a serial number. And then I voiced in the a command go back and it goes back to the record you're working on. So there's different ways to program commands for navigation on your screen. And again, the mouse grid one is a default one that's really easy to go in and correct things in different parts of the screen. And it actually, you could do that faster than trying to tell someone where to look on a screen because they don't know exactly what you're thinking, but Dragon will execute what you're thinking through your series of voice commands, so this is very useful.